Awesome. Uh, always constantly vamping up to make preparation for us casters and viewers at home. We're going to see some aggression from alone with the Sheriff in Sewer. is going to find a pick and back off. Wow. Great shock dart on the Sub Rosa as well for Moon. And maybe he can just find you a pick. I think we start marching in here. On the overwhelm with defenses left. We are going to see Aleko like, able to pick up Moon. Too. And Wardell does pop one off as well. So they get into a 1v3, or 2v3 rather. They do have Scythe. They could get Spike down at the very least. Two for one is good. Now the turret can also be kind of a third defender here at the post plant. Wardell still holding close. They've got one player low at 15 HP. One oh. Here comes the pusher on the back side. Nice from Yum. Double with the frenzy. No problems there. And it's Girl Kissers with a really solid bolt for first one forward. Yum. <laughs> Doesn't even have a chance to fire back as it's just a some space. Now they will get that spike in ready. And now they're in. He's got a hold. Uh, Already got uh, one. Trades come through remaining. top. Eventually dealt with. He was the player through garage. It all falls on to move. Oh, nice hit fire for the first. Tries to correct the shot. Going to play retake. We've got all five members that are coming through. But the problem is we're down deep. Has the force washing over towards window. Now the retake largely has to come just in towards connector and Mordell is repositioned, but it doesn't make a difference. Alone trades things back. Big gunfight now starting to unfold on towards the site, dashing away and Tori, but only for a small time. It all falls on to one and Ross being taken up here by TSM looking to pressure that garage, but Ali steps out with the is there. That's huge. Immediately the third gets placed, but on the same moment, it's Levi who's able to actually open up some space over towards C. So here comes the push. The first two kills are in and TSM have taken the site. That is so tough, because like you said, GK were so well positioned and had the reads. Moonblue able to at least get a kill there onto a weakened core. They still have a chance to retake this. It's three versus three, but Wardell creates a huge kill to get some access to Garage. It's all about what happens off of this attacking lockdown. Moonblue had to try to commit. And in that effort, falls just down to alone. 1v2, and ah, not going to throw shoulders like that. Game plan doesn't seem to quite work out, but they haven't had to deal with that just yet. A little bit early pressure though here from Moonblue. Oh, yeah. a little bit or a lot of it. So now 5v4 early and TSM have to kind of figure out what they want to do. The good news is they at least they'll have plenty of time to work this out. The trap wire underneath Heaven though looked like it was kind of a predetermined setup for the Ares in hand. So that gets denied and now all of a sudden Tom has to make a dicey call with the LMG. Cosmic Divide comes out, Corey's still holding close, Nebula is what is mostly being used for Girl Kissers to come in, but the problem is, defense quickly for Girl Kissers, unless there is a kind of play off of this corner, Yum does not get scouted out before the initial approach from Corey comes out, but the trades are decent, plus the extra kill mid- It's when you know things are tough on the defense when you're down a man and this much base thinking about sub Rosa, but Toph, a little bit of information as well here for Toph. This is though, Moon makes a the turret. Second shot, also a bit awry, and his moon and alone tally up too. Now it's just on to Rossi to hold. The decent news is the detainment comes out oh, from the no. lockdown. But hold on a second, you don't want to get too de uh, too far forward here for Rossi because you might catch yourself a bit puzzled and bamboozled on where alone has gone to, and that very well may have been the case. Although alone does take some shots, Rossi now knows that the point of contact would be from the left. The timing is just going to favor Rossi with the spike cracking down. Yeah. Alone gets the kill, but TSM gets the round. Yeah, that lockdown was kind of full. It looks like they want to just jump in with the blades. Over the top, nice shot guards coming through and floating into the line of sight. At least you thought of a number of defensive players, but it's Alone who gets the kill and then will also pally up and find the rifle. Can he make use of it? Though? That's the real question. Still trying to work this with Toph. The problem is help was not enough, and now Alone is quite literally stuck in a corner. Shock dart will come through, and oh boy, it's perfectly placed. Yeah, there was really no way out of that situation. Corey just being fearless, being the tip of the spear, and even if he didn't get the entry, he just got to take pressure and ensure the spike can go down. But here comes GK looking to pounce. No kills exchanged just yet, though. Oh, and you still got Corey who's hanging out backside gong. Making life extra difficult, along with the blades of dives on in, though. Sabrosa, nice correction. Reads Moonbloom right through the smoke, so now you got to deal with Sabrosa quickly if you're Girl Kissers, and that's a problem because Sabrosa is so good in these spaces. Eventually overwhelmed, but a lot of time has gone off from this spike defusal. Cosmic Divide comes through defensively. Now all the darts and utility comes out. Alone is still holding onto this. Not quite. I don't think getting it to halfway it was darn close, but this is might be enough. And yeah, it does not get fully to the halfway point. And with that, pretty much any hope of Girl Kissers sneaking away to... With one round of play. Early Seekers, early Spam. <laughs> Well, Aries go bird. <laughs> All right then. 
Of course, the Ares is kind of godlike right now for the price. Yeah. But hey, if it works, it works. In such is the case, at least for now. Good information on the loan. Spam shots will be <laughs> there. Oh, oh no! <laughs> but Top will at least. Top says, "Wait trade. a second. You're yeah. not getting away with that one for free." <laughs> Dude, every time I see Toss name, I it does. I know there's at least an Airbender fan at Riot because Jet exists. <laughs> so that's again the rendezvous of Wardell getting him already into B site for that quick rotate. Oh, that is a great flash coming through. Molly able to get onto the site. Two for one goes the trade. Wardell wants to actually challenge this quickly through the nebula and alone says bet. Friend work here. That was actually a great dart. Finds so much damage. Only thing you would have liked to see more was maybe finding the double if you're being greedy about it. But Aleko could have been found alone looking for the ace. Similar approach here, at least look wise from TSM. The problem is it's being met really well. Oh, wow. Blades early from Malone. Gets the kill into Wardell, so a greedy play for the orb. I don't know if it's worth it. Honestly, it's a two for one exchange, but Aleko up top. Moves over and yep, absolutely keeps us at a 3v3. And Spike spotted from Sub Rosa and now Spike dropped as Moon Blue is trying to come back for it. So the aggression from TSM up middle is going to pay off. Toph now alone being boxed in here by a couple of players and Sub Rosa is going to be in such a prime position here as he's holding the angle, does get the kill on to Yum. Thing about it is you're really kind of locking things down from Alco first and foremost. Full utility, by the way, for the defensive Sova. Corey sneaking in. Might not even be needed. Oh, bullet hose. Three for it, and then... We'll see if the defense can hold. Oh, great little gravity well in the mix. TSM. They find one here by Leko. And he had the span coming through from Sub Rosa at long. It's going to connect on Yum. I mean, yeah, this is a nightmare. Top still playing close. Maybe a chance. I think they dropped one last time. I don't know. This one is, though. Still dominance, nonetheless, from TSM these last few rounds. But honestly speaking, it is a great grab. Yeah. Going to connect. And last chance saloon here for Girl Kissers. And it almost looks like it's just frustration into the foray of this round. Trying to rush forward. Good reveals coming out. And oh boy. <laughs> it's just no matter which way you look, it's just a spam down. Yikes. We're in control of wanted A side, and now they're keeping tabs on this B lobby area. They just need to make sure they don't die none. That, that's a tough one. So Rosa goes out. This kind of leaves Rossi in a tough spot trying to hide the nebula. Steps Ooh. out, though. Huge kills. Can he get a third? Not quite, but he's still done a great job. Oh, my goodness. So now, all of a sudden, with the abbreviated health left. pools, TSM in a 3v3. Still have some utility to try to retake, including the recon dart. That will be sent over the top of the boathouse. Long TSM start to set themselves up for the retake. It's going to come from multiple angles. Nice guy in light comes through, but Aleko able to help out just the nick of time. Wardell over the top of him gets the second, and it's all down to Halley. 1v3, 12 HP. You don't feel great about their chances. Just down to maybe can you pop off with a couple of one taps? The answer, no, and TSM retake very smoothly. Yeah, a lot of that comes down in Haven. And the Trailblazer that comes out will now try to at least create some space for Sabros. A good help coming out from Rossi as the Guiding Light was used simultaneously. One more flash around the corner. Very well done. Little bait and switch. But alone fights it back. 2v2, but low health. But now we see Corey. He slides into this link. I don't know that he was spotted. And that could be it. But no, alone's not done yet. And is able to retrieve the spike. Problem is, not only you're trying to deal with the player in front, you also had a nebula. So they're doing a good job stalling out. But again, with Sabros' positioning, you got to be careful because if he gets killed like this, there's not going to be enough time mm -hmm. for people to rotate back. At least it's a trade. Does get the sight. Blindside Corey as well. Timing is perfect for a loan. Rossi escapes the gravity well with an elimination and their life. But Alone's position has now moved extra far forward. Oh my oh goodness, boy. the big balls peak from Aleko. Unreal. And then the dart behind it with the gravity well. The spike will still be planted, but Yum is tragically low. And the follow-up shock dart will deal with it. And Wardell will say, no, not interested in any push-throughs off the flank. What an unbelievable... The TSM have stayed alive through this initial surge. But now here come the Seekers. Wardell actually will find Yum through that, but Alone goes to work. Right clicks out for the Blade Storm. That'll be good for two. Toph Cal is the third. We've got ourselves a 4v2, but the spike... 
will go down. Attacking Lockdown also still a part of this. Defensively, TSM oh, no. do not want to give this away. And Lockdown is able to tally up another. Now Corey from the flank is going to be able to completely blow up the play. Leko and Company just being crafty and... Okay, Rossi just got arrested. Still looking to contest this post plant or find anything. Under Saru going to get called out for Moonblue. That's going to be set all the way up towards the top. One will connect, but Wardell will stay alive. And in the same breath, Aleko still finds Elimination, Guiding Light. Comes out, finds success off the flash. But more Nebulas, Gravity Wells being sent in. All able to stay alive, just spamming the feet of TSM defenders up top. And eventually, now Corey does get here. And Ali's completely separated from the rest. A good reveal on Aleko. But will this actually mean anything? Because Corey will just take away the angle and then continues to do so at range. Oh, oh man, TSM retake looking solid. It, I mean, again, it's just... That's it. No more utility for Aleko. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh. Just hold me. I'm terrified. Rossi for a third in the mix. And, oh, man. It's just like, how many times is Levi going to be in a position to where it's like, oh, he's done here. Nope, just kidding. He'll walk away with two. <laughs> yeah. And another Prime Gaming full A lobby. Oh, he's kind of forcing through it. Oh, my God. If that would have worked. Oh, like a, oh, my goodness. A double with the Hunter's Fury. I'll be able to get out. About to deal with Rossi, who's just holding the angle. Trying to buy time, does get the intel on both players. And it's the blind side on Young that allows Wardell to push in. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And then even the light goes still. Has any value here for GK in round 10? Okay, yes, you can. Wardell. Down, getting a kill, getting a fancy into Young's hands. But Corey with the Jet Odin. Alrighty then. Not something you see every day. Alone pulls out the daggers, able to get one and start getting some space onto the site. Round for GK, not just because you're hoping and likely you should get the second on the scoreboard. Wait a second, I don't want to call it. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to invest the Seekers to this as well. Okay, surely, surely not this yeah. time. Surely not. No. Surely not this surely time. Surely not. Yeah. There's <laughs> no way. It can't happen. It just cannot happen. Okay. Information off the Owl Drone. Trailblazer to counter. Those are affected. Flash comes out and Catwalk. A lobby taken by TSM with the Leko and Rossi. At least they have that. But they're already in position. This is going to be a tough retake. One enemy remaining. And we're down. Just have... Doubling mm. back at Heaven. Catching the Fredo with their knife out. No. Lines up two. Making this expensive. Does he have time? Sure yeah, not. sure does. Surely not. Okay. okay. Oh my god. If he would have won that, bro. Comes out as well. Smoke deters him a little bit there, but he's still hanging around. You can see that GK are kind of dancing, trying to bait him out, try to set up some type of way to get him, but they just can't. And Sub Rosa picks up alone at the same no. time. And my goodness, Wartell is just hopping off. It can't see, You know, a lobby. So there's kind of dueling control taking place here, but Rossi now catches the A fallback. Sub Rosa gets a timing on top he was not expecting. And now it's starting to look a little bit grim here for GK. It, I just, I really like that read from TSM as well when it comes to just kind of splitting up this defense as much as possible. You get through the site quickly. As you mentioned, like you block off the re-return right back towards the A site. You also cut off reinforcements. It's just a really nice position for TSM to use. One enemy but the remains. round is not done yet. Yum. At least able to tally a first more to find. The frenzy is looking better and better the more we see it. Second kill tallied information on where Aleko has gone, but this is a very difficult 1v2 with not a lot of intel on where Rossi has gone. Gravity Well will pull. And the recon bolt to follow. Yeah, finally. Icing a play aspect. Things look good. Oh, both styling their hits. They're still connecting, like you mentioned. A lot mm -hmm. of their abilities very nicely. To Down a site as well. Wardell going to take a peek. They've got a lone isolated backside of the site. Cloudburst will come through. The rest of TSM will essentially suffocate the jet off the board. They use it to break the door and start getting a little bit more space. Smoke's now down, though. Two defenders will get under the balcony. Big kill for Moonblue there. Let's double peek through the nebula. A lot go underneath. You have a way to flush these players out. They are holding a pretty solid crossfire, and you could definitely see the mathematics and... The gears are turning for GK. How do we do this? And how about just a really aggressive peek for Moonblue? It doesn't matter! Aleko continues. Double, and that puts him to 19-3. and three.
Well, it's still not the optimal buy. Yeah. Yeah, Moon Blue. <laughs> nice try with the Marshall. Door shut on mid connection, so now you've got DSM threatening through the cosmic divide. Knives even out in play. Well, he will at least respond with the first elimination for the defense. Through this cosmic divide, are looking to still try to take away space. The problem is they do not have the information on where anybody is. Cough though, double. Needs to 1v4. Not gonna happen.